All right, guys. I know you've all asked for this. How to organize your tackle box like this guy. All right. You can find absolutely everything. So what you want to do, actually, you know, I don't like how these here. I can probably put these in here, safe space, maybe some in here. What you're going to want to do is you want three to five baits in each column here. So here I got, uh, I don't even know what that is. A power bait, Texas rig. Can tell this guy got trumped by a monster. Look at that. Woo! Uh, we got a little circle weight thing. Oh, sorry, this guy kind of migrated out. So, now is this like multi species or is it one species? This is right here. This is for every, this is like your summer winter tackle box. Ah. Uh, right? And then back here, back here. See, this is even worse. Oh yeah, better. better. Uh, oh, got scented. Get it's a bandito book. Yeah. Uh, these. See, I always want your crankbaits to go with your soft plastics. Yeah. All right. It. It's always because it cushions them. You know. No. No. Wait. Uh, mixing different color soft plastics is really good because what can happen is the chartreuse can go onto this and it can make you a basically new bait. Now, yes, this this sluggo does basically become useless, but I mean, you get a cool green bait out of it. This frog can go over here, I guess. I don't even care. Uh, over here, you can see these are my Texas rig hooks. I use those for sunnies, uh, creek chop, really anything. Um, oh, woo! Got the marabou jig. Yeah. See, this bait's really good for smallies, especially big smallies. They'll bite that thing right in half. I'm not even kidding. Uh, and then you want to go to your finesse one, right? All right, your finesse tackle box. You got a tail chopped off little thing here. I don't even, I don't even use that. I don't know why I bought it. Got some drop magnets here. Drop magnets are really good. Marble chick. All right, but now, hold on. It's fine, you can just leave it open. Leave it open, slide it in. Let's see if I still have these bad boys. Guys, exposed hooks in the bag is what you really want. All right, it holds everything together so when you're biking, nothing really, you know, gets shaken out. Yes, you might cut yourself five times during a fishing trip, but it's generally worth it. Uh, exposed lures, exposed reels. See, I always have a backup reel, just in case. You can look down there, I can't quite get it out, but that's always your backup reel. You always need a backup for you. <laughs> and then, here's really the holy grail. Ah, damn! <laughs> it's okay, guys. You always want to like, throw socks in here. <laughs> you always want your strong tack tackle box, right? To fit that bad boy in my pocket. <laughs> you got a uh, frog here. A, uh, looks like a sea bait. I don't even know what the heck that's for. Got a curly cue without a hook. Yeah, so this is my primary tackle box. I bring this here everywhere I go. <laughs> um, yeah. So guys, I always keep uh, one of these bad boys down here. I don't really have a spot for it in my tackle boxes, so I just I throw it in the bag. Whew. Oh yeah, garlic. Scent I only use scented things, nothing else. Anything else doesn't even catch you fish. Just leave it there. <laughs> Here is the real meat and bones. This is my summer tackle box in here. Got some receipts. This doesn't even have something in there. How about jig get out of its box? Whatever. That's my jig. I always use that. Uh. Dang. But all I do for that bad boy. Tie it up. 
and uh, rest it on the top of my bag. <laughs> All right, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little bag tour slash how to organize your things. It's really beneficial for just to know where things are, you know? Uh, as you can see there, I could easily find everything I needed. Uh, you want to make sure things are sturdy too on your back. Like, see this? It's not falling off when you're biking around. Yeah, I never bring that anyway. It's not even summer yet. Uh, yeah, you just want to have your organized bag. Uh, see this guy? I don't know what the heck he's doing. Probably can't find a single thing. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You always want to have a good bag, uh, exposed hook. Thank you for watching this tip of the day. I hope you learned something. And uh, stay tuned for the next.